Hey guys, it's General Heat here. How is everyone doing? Uh, today, after it's like 17 years or so now, um, we are finally going to get to see what this mysterious hero looks like on Halo 1. And that hero I'm talking about is Fellhammer, also known as Echo 419. Well, actually, it's the other way around, but anyways... Throughout the classic Halo 1, we never get to see her uh, in person. Uh, you know, we we simply don't know what she looks like. And even throughout Halo Anniversary, we still don't really know what she looks like. And I'll explain in a second. But to uh, see what she looks like, um, I had to do a, use a simple mod that enables developer mode, or debug mode, on Halo Anniversary. Uh, debug mode is like this... Uh, hidden built-in thing in uh, Halo 1 Anniversary that lets you use some like uh, debug stuff like fly cam or invincibility that kind of stuff it's it's all built into the game but it's just disabled in the retail version but could be re-enabled using uh, a simple mod but anyway so I'll explain why we need debug mode for this but first of all let me take a look let's take a look at a uh, what it looks looks like in a, uh, classic mode. As you can see in classic mode, this is what we've always seen in the past. If you look in the cockpit of Echo 419 or Fohammer's Pelican, you don't see any pilot inside. It's, uh, in fact, there's really nothing inside. And even in anniversary mode, we do see a pilot inside, but her face, Fohammer's face, is covered up by that mask or that visor or whatever it is. So. You know, even in Halo Anniversary, under normal circumstances, we don't get to see what she looks like, what her face looks like, at least. I mean, in Anniversary, we could see what her body looks like, but still not her face. So using debug mode, we can use the fly cam on Halo Anniversary. And the fly cam lets us fly around, and we can even fly through solid objects. So we're going to use the fly cam to fly through her visor and see what her face fully looks like. Now the fly cam is very sensitive, so I had like it's really hard to get it precise right through the visor without flying through her head completely. But you'll be able to see it in just a second. So I'm gonna carefully get get in. You could you could probably already see flashes of her face, but uh, let me get a good angle, good steady view. All right, there you go. That is what. Echo 419, also known as Fohammer, looks like in Halo Anniversary. Yep, I know it's <laughs> it's pretty creepy and kind of terrifying to look at, but that is that is her face. Uh, you know, those are her uh, pretty eyes. You know, I I I'm pretty sure she doesn't like it when you stare at her, but. That is what she looks like, but try not to stare too long, because I'm pretty sure she gets self-conscious. So, just, uh, just a little heads up there. Uh, let me switch back to classic mode. As you can see, there's nothing here in classic mode, as you saw earlier. But in anniversary mode, inside the cockpit of the Pelican, that is what Echo 419, also known as Fohammer, looks like. And, you know, for whatever reason, um, when... 343 and Saber Interactive made this game. They chose not to uh, render her eyes, I guess. And as you can see, her hands and her wrists, they're all like low poly as well. And pretty like low detailed on the textures. Only her like chest is okay. Uh, but everything else is low poly and low textures. And as you can see, her eyes aren't rendered either. So let me switch to another mission that we see Fohammer on, uh, the mission Silent Cartographer, because it's a lot more sunny and we could get a better uh, view of her face with uh, better lighting. So let's go to the front of the pelican, and fortunately, as long as we stay near the pelicans, they never fly away. Uh, in fact, um, even, though they, even though they never fly away, another Fohammer will fly in in a second. But let me show you her face first before we get to that. So once again, this fly cam is like overly sensitive, but uh, let's get a, there we go. There, there's her face again with better lighting. And the other pelican here is the same thing. 
same poly inside, same low poly hands, low texture arms. And if we, uh, if we were to fly inside of her visor, as you can see, no eyes either. Now in Halo 1, uh, pretty much every pelican is Echo 419. It's the same model, same, uh, same markings on it and everything. And e even if they're not actually Echo 419 or Faux Hammer's pelican, they all still use the same model because it, it was just easier for, uh, Bungie and later 343 and Saber Interactive just to reuse the same model and texture for every pelican uh, because they probably don't expect most players to look that closely to the pelican details or even get inside the pelican and okay. see the pilot's okay. face. So that's why they all use the same models and textures as Echo 419's pelican. But they're not all Echo 419. However, that is still Echo 419's pilot model. And yeah, that's what she looks like in every pelican basically <laughs> and like I said I really have no idea why they didn't render her eyes or e even like why like the rest of her body most of her body is like low poly and low textured I really have no idea why they did that I mean I, gu I guess like usually these kind of things are done to like save resources but honestly like does, does it really take that much processing power to render like a pair of eyes <laughs> Now, I know a lot of you are probably wondering what if I did this to Master Chief and we look inside his helmet and, well, to satisfy your curiosity, here it is. This is what Master Chief looks like inside the helmet. There's nothing, which is no surprise. Now, some of you might also be saying, pointing out that that pilot in the Pelican is the same uh, pilot and model as the one that flies the Bumblebee life pod, this one right here. And, you know, you might be saying they're, they're actually just the same and they just reused their model. Well, not entirely. This model is has some differences. Yes, it looks very similar, but it is not the same model. They had the same visor and same helmet and pretty much same chest pieces, but that's uh that, that's it. The simil similarities end there. For starters, her uh, hands, legs, and other parts of her body are all high poly and high textured. Well consistent with other models in a game Morning. unlike faux hammer which is like extremely low poly and low textured and as for her face well let's uh let's get inside her visor and take a look with this extremely sensitive fly cam so there she is and let's move into the visor probably already caught a glimpse but there you go that is what she looks like and during the previous cutscene on the previous mission, you there is a brief moment where her visor is off, so you can see her face anyways. But here, on a later part of the mission, her model still has the face and the eyes rendered. So there are slight differences between her model and Faux Hammer's model. So Faux Hammer's model is unique. It is different from hers. So I can say for sure that that is definitely what Faux Hammer... Uh, looks like in Halo 1 Anniversary, and it's not just a reused model of the Bumblebee pilot. But yeah, so I hope you guys did find that to be uh, interesting, and hopefully not too freaky. Uh, and if you did like this, uh, make, make sure to leave a like on the video, and leave your thoughts uh, in the comments. If there's anything you want to discuss about this, or any things you want to see in the future, just let me know. And other than that, make sure to subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you guys next time.